In this question, we can express J's rate of painting as a fraction. It's always useful to write the units in the fraction, so we can write that J paints at a rate of Q rooms per one hour. Now we want to know how long it takes to paint P rooms. So we want a fraction like this, but with P in the numerator, not Q. Nevertheless, we can't change the value of the fraction because J's rate is not changing in this situation. So we can multiply the fraction by one in the form of P over Q times P over Q. The Qs cancel out on top and we end up with P rooms in the numerator just as we wanted. The time it takes J to paint P rooms at this rate is evidently the denominator P over Q hours. We can check that it makes sense by considering a case. If J paints at a rate of three rooms per hour and he's painting nine rooms, then Q equals three and P equals nine, and it will take him nine over three equals three hours to paint nine rooms. It checks out. The correct answer is A.